delicious asparagus. Let me show you how to keep it longer term in your freezer and be happy when you're ready to use it. So easy. Let's do it. Hey y'all, it's me Hetty and I've got another little quickie here for you. As you can see, I've got a, a medium sized stock pot with a rolling boil of water. And as you can see by the title, I'm just simply gonna show you how to save your asparagus and put it away. I got some beautiful asparagus on sale. I've already cleaned it, trimmed it. We're ready to go. You can see a million other videos about where to snap it or where to cut it or whatever. It's not gonna take long. Skinny asparagus like this, which is the most tender. Uh, try to avoid those great big fat ones if you can, because they are their their outer stem part is so much more tough and not as enjoyable. These perfect. If you can find them like this, get them. And if you do this, you'll have them in your freezer ready to go. And I'm just going to show you how I store mine short term, okay? All right, well, we're gonna get going. For skinny ones like this, it's gonna be about a minute. Medium, two minutes. The big fat ones that I do not recommend anybody use, maybe three minutes. But I'd rather skip it if I can't get them like this. This is my favorite way to get them. So anyway, I'm gonna time this for a minute. You don't have to sit here and stare at me. When a minute's up, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you now. I just take my old beat up cookie sheet. Y'all know the stuff I lay stuff out on. Put paper towels on it. And when I'm ready to do that step, I'll bring you back. Okie dokie. It's been a minute. Now look, you're not trying to cook these. You're simply blanching them. I want you to see, look at this gorgeous color. That helps keep the color when you're cooking them later, but it also helps seal in a bunch of the nutrients and blah 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 you can look it up yourself you probably already know about asparagus if you're even watching this video and if you don't you don't know what you're missing if you don't like asparagus you haven't made had it made correctly I know I got one in there swimming or uh, there's another one <laughs> anyway I just want to look at that that is so pretty y'all all right look at that okie dokie I'm just gonna keep repeating this process I've got two more batches so I'll be back in a couple minutes and then we'll go from there I'll show you what I do next all right, I'm just taking the last of these out. I have some in my freezer already, which I am going to show y'all. But I just wanted to show you how I get there. And I couldn't pass up this sale. We do love it. But at times, it has been so expensive. When I saw that sale, I said, oh, wow. Definite, definite buy for me. Anyway, come here, you. Come here, you. You're not escaping. All right, I've got that off now. I'm just showing you this, right? So I had paper towels underneath it, and a lot of times I'll just use a tea towel for the convenience of the video. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm doing paper towels. I don't like to waste them much, but yeah, I admit I'm a bad paper towel user. You do you, okay? But you don't want anything, you don't want regular dish towel or anything. You don't want the lint on here. And that's why you see a lot of people using paper towels and stuff. Okay, sorry, don't pay attention to my nails. They look terrible. All right, and look, I'm gonna pat these, and I'm actually, this is still hot. When they've cooled down a little bit, I'm gonna flip them onto new paper towels and then let them finish drying. Oh, about half an hour, it won't take long. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna show you, let me go get it, forgot to get it. Stand by. Alrighty, so uh, I went ahead and just flipped them so I could show y'all how I do. I just got uh, fresh paper towels. I rolled them up, moved them, put fresh paper towels down, and then just rolled them out, and then just threw away the other paper towels. Okay, look, this is how I do it. I, of course, for my family, I usually do a larger portion, but this was left over from another package I had. This is why it was like this, uh, from my previous batch that I had frozen. And this was the last one left, which is another reason I got these. I'm going to get some more, if they still have any. Anyway, look. For short term, again, short term. I 
I just take a freezer bag after they've completely cooled and I'll lay them in here just like this uh, you can do you know you can fill up the bag of course uh, meal size for whatever your family needs are and then you know I roll it up put it in the freezer I know when I did these but I do usually throw a date up there I mean I can see it's asparagus so I just put the date that I did this blanched and froze it and I'm going to do the same thing with these so from this to this and don't waste that asparagus don't let it get shoved in your fridge and lose it y'all know I, I mean I cook I cook on YouTube I cook in life in general I have a full fridge I know where everything is but once in a blue moon something will get shoved in the back that didn't happen this time it's happened to me so that's when I started doing this several years back I actually thought I had a tidbit for it already I know I'm doing a few tidbits for y'all but this is all in one day I'm showing you some days, like I said, I turn on a podcast, I'll listen to a movie, I'll do something, and I'll just do this if I wasn't making a video for y'all. Beautiful. And then meal ready, however you're going to make this. And if you're not quite sure how you're going to make it, simply take your bag and lay it in your fridge the night before. You don't want to be nuking it to defrost it, but you don't want to do that. I don't suggest it. Then you can cook it, lemon butter, however you're going to do it, garlic, roast it. This is perfect for roasted. I do this all the time. And maybe I'll even show y'all how to do that. Anyway, that's all for this. Just another little shorty. I'm sharing with y'all. Y'all know I have good days and bad days. I've had actually a couple of bad weeks, which is not why you, it, which is, if I can speak, why you're not seeing me do full-on recipes at the moment. But y'all know, I don't give up. So, I love y'all. And we're going to keep plodding along, aren't we? One foot in front of the other. Hold our head up and keep moving. Love y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.